Hello friends, today we will discuss how to determine the blood groups in the laboratory. Generally this can be a minor practical in the subject physiology as well as in the subjects pathology for MBBS students. But in general how to determine the blood groups in the laboratory, it is a very simple procedure just hardly it will take around uh, uh, 5 to 10 minutes to determine the blood group. So, so for determining the blood group what are the essential things we require ok, the instruments or the apparatus. So, see this main is anti-sera, this blue color liquid what you are seeing is the anti-sera A or anti-A that is it contains this fluid contains the antibodies against the A antigen ok. And this yellow color fluid what you are seeing it is the anti-B that is the anti-sera B, it is, uh, it is, uh, it contains the antibodies for the antigen A against the antigen A then this is anti-D anti D antibodies ok. So, all this fluid basically they contains the antibodies against the respective antigen this is for RH antigen ok. Those who do not know the theory please go back to our playlist of our channel doctors corner in that we have already explained the theory part of the blood group. Now, apart from this main things we require normal saline then a watch glass or a test tube ok, watch glass or a test tube a dropper or a pipette just to mix the normal saline with the blood. Then few things for the aseptic removal of the blood ok, this is a sterile lancet, spirit, cotton swab or gauze pieces ok. So, with this uh, uh, instruments now we will try to uh, determine the blood group. First thing is you have to take the 3 slides ok, this is also needed 3 slides uh, generally this are uh, blood group slides, but you can use even the plain slides ok, plain slides and this 3 sticks ok, 3 plastic sticks or even the match sticks can be used. Now, you can see we have labeled as anti A, anti B and anti D and test and control. So, on the anti A we will put around 1 or 2 drops of the anti sera A, then and the anti B we will put around 1 to 2 drops of the anti B ok. Then in the anti D we will put around 1 to 2 drops of anti D anti sera ok. So, this liquid contains the antibodies against the RH antigen that is the D antigen. Now, this is the test, this is the control. Now, we will put around 2 to 3 ml of the normal saline ok in the watch glass. You can take either in the test tube or watch glass or porcelain dish whichever is available to then with aseptic precautions with the help of the uh, lancet we have to prick the ring finger or the middle finger ok with one prick you have to just uh, collect the blood. So, we have to collect the blood. Now, you can see you have to actually discard the first drop because it contains the tissue fluids then uh, put this one or two drop in this normal saline ok, in this normal saline so that the blood gets mixed with the normal saline ok, blood gets mixed with the normal saline only one drop uh, is enough. So, you have seen that we are mixing the blood with the normal saline we have mixed it. So, just uh, do it thoroughly, do it thoroughly mix it then uh, with aseptic precautions again put one or two drops of that uh, normal saline and blood mixture that is the RBC suspension or red cell suspension into the anti A, anti B and anti D, anti sera also on the control ok. Just put it we have to take the control so that if at all by mistake uh, if there is a mixture of the things. So, we should see that the test what the results what we get is not due to the mistake ok. So, we are doing the RBC suspension in the control it is normal saline in the blood. Now, thoroughly we need to mix it with by using the uh, right now we have uh, this plastic sticks you can use even the match sticks or any other sterile apparatus ok. And remember you should not use the same stick for the different anti sera for anti A whatever you have used keep it separately then anti B and anti D mix it thoroughly then we have to wait for 5 to 10 minutes ok, 5 to 10 minutes maximum up to 15 minutes you can wait. Now I think uh, I am able to see some agglutination reaction in the anti A as well as in the anti D ok. Ok, I will try to focus it, I will try to focus it, see in anti A you can see that is, there is a clumping is seen, this red blood cells clumpings are seen in anti A ok. Then 
there is no clumping is seen anti B. Okay, no clumping is seen in the anti B. And finally, you can see the clumping in anti D. So that means my blood group is A positive, that is clumping in the anti A and clumping or agglutination reaction in the anti D. Okay, and uh, you can see the control, there is no agglutination reaction seen. So now my blood group is A positive. If at all you have any doubt, you can see the same mixture under the microscope. I will just show you how it looks under a microscope, how it looks under a microscope. So typically under the low power you will see like that clumps. So finally we will show you once again how it looks anti A agglutination reaction then an anti D. Okay, This is how you need to determine the blood group. Thank you very much.